The UI is one of the most important parts of our app, and that's why you should invest some time in it. Hi, my name is Guilherme Mira and welcome to the Technica channel. Today is the second video of our series, building an app using no-code technologies, and in this video I want to talk about design, more specifically UI design. UI stands for User Interface, which is basically all the visual elements of our app, the colors, the shapes, the buttons, everything that will interact with the user visually. And that's why UI is so important, because it's the first impression of our app and will help the user to decide if they want to keep using our app and know about your solution or if they want to quit and choose another one. Before I show you my design for our recipe app, I must tell you that I will use Bubble to develop this app. And even knowing that Bubble is a web application development tool and our app will be a mobile app because I want to show you how you can leverage Bubble to develop any type of app, including a mobile app. So if you want to know more about how to build a no-code app, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. Now, let's go to the screen. So here we have our wireframe. A wireframe is basically the structure of your app. It's here that we will build all the pages that we need for our app and the elements that we want on each page. So first, I build some elements to add to our wireframe. So here we have a dark button, a light button. We have some inputs to darker backgrounds or to light backgrounds, some cards, types, uh, list to add texts or other types of elements. And as you can see, we have all the pages right here starting from the welcome page. So as you can see, I just put the elements on the page. It's not like the most realist part of our UI design, but it's here where we will choose where we want to put the elements that we need on the page. So like the welcome page, we need of course a text to welcome the user and a button to go to the next step. Here in the sign up and the login page, we have the inputs that we need, the form to sign up the user or to log in the user. Here is where we start to actually thinking about the user experience too. So here we have the welcome page. It's the first page that the user will see once they are inside the app. So we have a calendar to add the recipes we have a to uh, today's recipes. We have the add recipe or edit recipe. They are basically the same. The only difference is in the add recipe, we don't have any data and the edit recipe, we have the data of the recipe that we want to add it. At the shopping list, we have some items and a place to add those items to this specific shopping list. We have a page to show all the shopping lists that we have. Here is a representation of pop-up that we will use to add to create a new shopping list. Here we have the actual recipe page. Is here that we will display all the data that we have from recipe. So the image, the description, the prep time, the cook time. The next one is my recipe page. It's here that we will show the user all the, re the recipes that he already have. And the next page is a public feed page. If the user wants to make his recipe public, the recipe will come to here. So here we have a category page and a friends page. So the wireframe is basically a place where we can choose what we want to show, what we want to display to the user. And it's so important because with the wireframe, we can already see the features that we need to build. Sometimes when we are, we are building the scope of the project, we can forget about something. And here in the wireframe, it's easier to see uh, the features that we need and which page you will have each feature and the steps the user will make until he gets someplace. So here is where we have a more realistic representation of our app and it's how the app must look like once it's finished. 
So first thing, of course, I have to add some colors. If you already have a brand, this is where you will add your color palette. So I just chose some colors to represent that is um, more like a food app. And here we have the same page from the wireframe. So of course, starting from the welcome page, which is basically the same things. We just change the colors of the button and we add a background to the sign up and the login page, the same thing. We have the same elements in the same places. And, but the difference is that we can, now we can see how they will look like um, in the development. And in our main page is where we can start to see how important it is to build a wireframe and a UI because here we have a calendar or calendar and with the meals of the week and here we can see the today's recipe so we know now how to build how to make it look good our calendar and the cards to show the recipes with the image, the recipe name, the cooking time and the prepping time. And once the user goes to this page for the first time, then we see all blank. And the first action that they want to do is fill out all the information here. So they will see only the title and maybe the dates of the week. And, and in this page is where we will make the user keep using our app because here we don't have information. So the instinct of the user is I need to fill out all those informations. So I need to fill this app with recipes to see how they will look once I do that. And of course, here we have the SP to add a recipe and add the recipe. Like I told you, we have here in the added recipe, we have the data and in the add recipe, of course, we don't have yet. For the shopping list, the same thing, a place to add an item, uh, an input and a list of texts. Here again, we have a shopping list with a calendar and our pop-up to add a new recipe or a new shopping list. A recipe page with the image of the data. Now we can see that um, how good it can look because um, when we have a blank page or in the wireframe, maybe we not be able to see um, how attractive this has to be to the user, so they want to keep using the app. Here we have my recipes that is um, where we can make the user see like, like an achievement. So here they will see, oh, I have all those recipes. I have already built all these to myself. And in the public feed, we have the recipes is here that we can build like a network to the user. Of course, a category page and a friends page. And here, as I told you, is where we can see all the features that we must have in our app and how those features must look like to make the user want uh, use it. So that's guys, is why UI is so important. It's not just how to make an app look good, but it's like make an app look good enough to make the user want to use the app. And it can help us through all the development process with helping us to find new features or new places to put these features. And that's why you should, and that's why you should invest as time as you need to make looks perfect. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. All my links will be in the description. If you need any help, please write in the comments. That's it and see you soon guys.